All right, so for our science today, we're reading microbes, friend or foe. And they're really talking about um, what, again, all cells are made of, all, all living organisms are made of cells, all different kinds of cells, from blood cells to skin cells to all different kinds of cells. Um, and we're also talking about different types of um, bacteria and viruses that can be, some can be good and some can be bad. So, um, when you're paying attention to this, think about what are some of the things that are affecting the people. Here we go. Dr. Jenner realized, oh, this is about um, the cowpox and the smallpox. Huh. Um, and I actually didn't look up anything if like they had such a thing as horsepox. I just think it's weird that there's like all farm animals. Dr. Jenner realized that cowpox and smallpox must be related to disease, like being cousins from the same family. He became certain that having a case of cowpox must somehow provide some kind of natural immunity against getting smallpox. He thought that he purposely gave the weaker disease to people before they were exposed to smallpox. It might reduce the number of people who were dying from it. Very fascinating. To test his idea, he would have to ask healthy people to volunteer to become sick with the cowpox and then to wait and see what happened. Amazingly, people volunteered to help him. The people he gave cowpox to were mildly sick for a while, but they recovered quickly. While they were sick, their immune systems were learning about the pox microbe and developing a way to fight it. Isn't it crazy your body is doing that? Jenner's idea about the relationship between the two diseases was correct. The people in his test who were given the cowpox virus as a pre preventative treatment did not get the deadly smallpox virus later. He used his use of, weak, of a weak version of a disease to stop a stronger version of a smaller, similar disease saved thousands of lives. Dr. Jenner is credited with stopping smallpox around the world. About 75 years later, after Dr. Jenner's remarkable test, Louis Pasteur discovered how to weaken microbes and introduce them into the immune system. Then, as happened with the cowpox test, the immunity, immune system had the chance to learn about the microbe. It had its defense ready for the real disease and attacked. Pasteur's experiments using weakened microbes led to the creation of several preventative vaccines such as the flu shot that should be given to a large population of people or that could be sorry given to a large population of people antibiotics the magic bullet hmm did you know this there's a lot of people who don't take antibiotics for lots of reasons interesting there we go that was kind of blurry scientists discovered that some microbes naturally fight and kill other types of microbes they can do this without harming each other as healthy cells or other helpful microbes. These special killer microbes naturally produce strong medicines called antibiotics. The antibiotics directly attack only the targeted infection. Antibiotics are strong, but scientists were concerned to discover that the very strongest microbes sometimes survived an antibiotic treatment. Their research revealed several reasons why an antibiotic can fail. Sometimes the tough microbes change their identity just enough to hide from the antibiotics. Isn't that crazy? In other cases, some antibiotics have become so overused or misused that microbes have de developed a resistance to them. The microbe has learned to fight back. Scientists continue to research microbes and antibiotics. They try to produce new, different, and more effective antibiotics to fight stronger, deadlier microbes. Did you know in 1928, Dr. Alexander Fleming discovered that a common bread mold would kill bacteria? This discovery led to the world's first antibiotic, penicillin, which is the, most wor is the world's most widely used antibiotic. So just eat a piece of moldy bread? Mm, I wonder if that would work. That's going to be one of the questions I'm going to write down. Don't spread disease. Microbes like to travel. Microbes like crowds of people. Remember that when you are sick. It's important to stay home. 
Stay away from other people and rest. Doing both of these things helps your body fight harmful microbes. At the same time, it also helps you from infecting other people. Remember to cover it and toss it. When you have a cold, always cover your mouth and nose with a tissue if you sneeze or cough. Then throw away the tissue in the trash if you can. If you don't have a tissue, cough into the side of your arm or cover your nose or mouth with your, cu with your cupped hands and then wash your hands as soon as you can. If you are sick, avoid sharing food, cups, or plates with other people. Germs are harmful microbes spread easily in crowded places. We live in a not crowded place. Here we go. Staying healthy. Keep your immune system healthy. In order to stay healthy, you must keep your immune system strong. Eat a balanced diet of nutritious food, including fruits and vegetables, and drink lots of water. Get fresh air, exercise, and enough sleep each night. Preparing food. Wash knives and cutting boards with water and soap after cutting raw meat and never let raw meat touch cooked foods. That's just what it says in our food handlers. Do not eat food from dented or swollen cans. Do not eat food that has fallen onto the floor. They don't even say you can use a five second rule. What about candy? I'm just kidding. Keeping clean. The most important micro fighting action is staying clean with soap and water. 80% of diseases are transmitted through touch because many people do not wash their hands. If everyone washed his or her hands, we would cut down the spread of disease. Wash your hands after you go to the bathroom, after touching animals, and before or after you mate and eat food. Wash with soap for at least 20 seconds or as long as it takes to hum the song Happy Birthday twice. Rub soap, lather all over your hands, even under your fingernails. And th this is just like the food handlers. I'm not kidding you. This is the, this is it right here. Rub soap and lather all over your hands, even under your fingernails. And then rinse your hands and dry them on a clean towel. Actually, you should say paper towel, remember? Take care of your teeth. Brush and floss your teeth to remove bits of food. Mouth bacteria causes cavities and feeds on rotting food. Infections can easily get into your bloodstream through your mouth. That is so true. See a doctor regularly. A healthy person should see a doctor once a year. Getting a regular checkup can prevent problems before they begin. Make sure you get all of your shots. Outdoor safety. When you go outside, do not touch wild animals. They may bite or scratch. They may have disease-carrying bugs on them. Wear insect repellent to keep mosquitoes and ticks away when camping or hiking. Don't drink water that has not been purified and chlorinated. Yeah, you don't really want to go drinking water out of Pine Hollow. If you get it in your mouth, you might not die, but I'm just saying. Not probably the thing to be drinking. Conclusion. Microbes live in, on, and around almost everything. Most microbes are harmless, but some of them can cause disease, and disease can spread quickly. Some methods for pre preventing disease, such as the use of vaccines and antibiotics, are the result of 200 years of scientific discovery, medical research, and modern medical practices. Many countries, organizations, and individual doctors are coordinating their efforts to control and even eradicate, which means completely destroy, eradicate many diseases. Even with all of this effort, we will never be able to wipe out all of the world's harmful microbes, but we can learn how they cause infection and can help to control them. We can learn how to be healthier. All right. Um, it is, I should, I keep wanting to put the glossaries in the front and I keep forgetting, so I apologize. This is really important um, vocabulary information. Um, not only does it apply to the food handlers that we're working on, which is critical, 
But it's important to know how um, even animals in the wild, like a lot of animals, if they get in fights or um, have accidents, um, some of them that die off early is because that they're fighting infections from wounds or things that they can encounter. So for the top of this, we're doing week six, day four, which is microbes. Friend or foe. Okay, here we go. And um, the other thing I was going to write about, so um, they talked about people volunteering. I was going to put that. I don't know if I would let someone experiment on me I don't know if I would let someone experiment on me I just don't think I could do that I have capitals for I and an N mark I just don't think I could two points and that's just a connection number two this is a fact Oops, I didn't even, oh, did you even see that? Sorry, I don't know if you even saw that. I don't know if I would let someone experiment on me. I'm really slacking. Part of the problem is, is I forgot to extend this back out, so I apologize. Number two. Okay, um, I wrote down and underlined something. Oh, can... You get better by eating. Not TT, not eating. What does it say? Meldewy bread, moldy bread. which has penicillin. Can you get better by eating, this will be just one eye, sorry, eating moldy bread, which has penicillin. I can't imagine that you could, but I never really, I guess I don't really know. I have capitals and N marks. Penicillin doesn't have to be capitalized because it wasn't in the story. And I did spell it correctly. Number three. Um, some of the same rules for our food handlers. Oregon food handler card are in this, oops, this book. That's a connection. Capital Sum, Capital Oregon, Capital Food and Handlers, because that's the title of that, or in this book, in the mark. Plus two. Number four. The other thing that I was gonna What did it say? Oh. Some, this is just a fact. Some, but it says microbes it said um, learn to fight learn to fight off uh, 
helpful antibiotics by changing their form form period some microbes learn to fight off helpful antibiotics by changing their forms the intrique that's a fact capitals in marks Dose. And then um, number five, the last fact. I think this is probably the most important that Dr. Jenner is credited. Dr. Jenner is credited. for helping stop smallpox around the world. What an awesome thing. Capital Dr. Jenner. Smallpox isn't capitalized even though it's the name of the disease. And it is one word though, so plus two. All right, I got 10 out of 10 and I am good to go. Have a great night.